Yeah. That needs to get done here pretty soon. My wife was just telling me because we're no, we're not even at war because the war is gonna going on in Ukraine. Beer is gonna go up. What the? What does that have to do with the price of corn or beer? You doing, Siri? So let me see. I drink to that. That's about that time. We thinking, hot rod. Yep. You don't think much, you just tear up shit. Anyway. Yeah, beer is gonna go up because there's a war in Ukraine. Get get anyway, I'm gonna let that one be. Yeah, it's um less calories, really. Yeah. Okay, on your mark, your sight, go. This is what I've been doing um, since the last video. Mm, I added that, drilled and tapped that little spike. Um, drilled and tapped that for the brake. What sanded the brake down after I cut it off right, right there. Yeah. My wife says, you're going to cut that off? Well, come on. You, you, blurry Louie. There you go. My wife says, you're going to cut that off? I said, yep, Danger Stan is here. Um, I still need to slide that on. Um, these are the back foot pegs that were power coated. And I wet, hand wet sent it down because I got some uh, billet brass knuckle uh, rear pegs that nobody's ever going to ride on the back of this I bought two bolts 8 grade half inch dash 13 is thread pattern two spikes and two bolts is like 28 bucks for real and then there we go brand new Okay, see, I put uh, see through fingernail polish on it because it was chipped when it came here. Come, go quit being blurry. Anyway, so I, I sent the guy an email say I'm not happy. That was on a Friday, so he basically ignored me. So I, I told him I'd give him appropriate feedback, and after I give him appropriate feedback. Today's Wednesday. All of a sudden, I give him feedback yesterday. He wants me to retract my feedback, and he'll send me a new stud. I said, you send me a new stud, then I'll retract my feedback. Otherwise, I'm good with the transaction. You got what you got, and I got what I got. Anyway, and of course, I cut that and started out with uh, 240, 320, 500, 800, 1,015. And I should have went to 2,000 and 3,000 sandpaper, but I didn't, and I'm not going to. And I just found out that you can actually go to 7,000 grit sandpaper. I've never seen it, but anyway. And I drill and tap that. This is for, I'm not sure to... <clears throat> it's, it's like a valve stem for the heads. I, I don't know. Um, that's gold plated that I did a long time ago, yada yada. This is cut and notched. It's that little notch right there, it's caveman style. This used to be an old, had a flag on it. Used to be an old uh, one hit vape thing. And there was a flag imprinted on it, and that's why it's got a hole in it right there in the middle. So I used that. Um, chrome nuts are, are not cheap. Anyway, uh, you got to pay the man or don't pay the man, I don't know. Um, and does anybody know what these are? I bought these from Harbor Freight. Um, I never even knew what these were. 
the tool was until I watched the video of James Freddy. Actually, what that is is a center punch. And keep buying them from Harbor Freight. It's just a commercial break. Actually, it's the top of that. And they keep, because they're Harbor Freight and they're brass, they just keep breaking. So I went through, um, that was the third one. So I always leave stuff laying around so I make it into something else. I haven't, um, uh, Bop that out yet. Um, oh, and then after I looked at that, I decided, well, if I made a pattern, I could put a copper plate under that too. And then I haven't got to it yet. I decided, but well, right here, I could make a copper plate with that too. And then I got another spike for that, but then I realized. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh. When you put your knee on a screw on the floor, because you forget it's there. Um, and I have knee pads too. Damn that, damn that hurt. Oh, there you go, see a little hole? Yep, oh my God, are you serious, dude? Mm. Let's get it, let's be a better view of this. Oh my god. Are you serious? Commercial break. Yep. That little hole is from that top of that skew. Sound like somebody got some out there. Um you have to drop this rear rim in order to slide the bolt through this way. Um because you can't get it. You can get it through here, but you can't get it past that, right there, the brake housing. Um, and these are, oh, what size are those? Not that anybody cares, but I think those bolts are M10 times 1.5 thread pattern, and I couldn't find spikes for them, so I had to buy, hmm, half inch, half inch 13. These, th this, these things are priceless because you never know what your uh, 45 bucks, you never know what thread is which. And then um, cut a piece of copper and um, you bend it, polish it, and put studs through it, of course. Um, you're not going to believe this, but believe it if you want. If not, that's fine. We'll just keep moving on for a second. Um, what else did I do? I mounted this up there. And I actually got to push this spike out of the way because the seat flips up. Um, I just keep on adding things. That's why this takes so long. That sounded pretty good too. Um, man, it sounds like a challenger. If it was my challenger, hell, okay, you would know it because that'd be on it. And then, um, and then I made this, it's a cover, I notched it, it doesn't go all the way around. Um, what else did I do? Um, I made these. I noticed that copper, when it sets a while, it turns um, orangish color as it tarnishes, per se. Um, this fit pretty good because this is, a, I don't know, it was probably maybe a 16th off. It was a little bit of slop in there because that's 2 inch, yeah. So the inner diameter was just a little bit off. Anyway, this is 2.3 if you mic it. So you could buy 2 inch inner diameter pipe, copper pipe, or you can buy two and a half inch inner diameter pipe. So if I bought two and a half inch, it'd be real sloppy. So I had to buy two inch. So you gotta cut it. 
that's fine. You got to cut it like this. Okay, with uh, whatever. Got it from. Got that. Got the idea from uh, Gaster's class. He says instead of buying these blades, you just buy good hacksaw blades and put them in there. Anyway, so you take that and where's my piece of wood at? This is the part you're not going to believe, but if you if you don't believe it, that's fine. Because I didn't have no other way to do it. So basically what I did is, after I got the slot in there, very narrow. Mm, nope, it's in here. Took these chisels, shoved it in the slot, and twisted it. Kept doing it. It'd make little dents, and I'd have to hammer it down. Anyway, after I got it all said and done, I put it in here, and I would slide it up here and twist the copper to make the gap open bigger and bigger and bigger. It's pretty caveman, to tell you the truth. I ain't gonna lie. I um, didn't have a pipe spreader or whatever you want to call it, so it needed to have a slot in it anyway. So you could tell if you look at it. See how I got the ripples right there, just right there. You could see it. See the ripples right there around the edge. Then you gotta notch it. I I swear, if you just look at brass like that, watch. If you just look at brass, it just it's a that's just my fingerprint, but it smears so easy because I got mother store on it. But anyway, it just scratches real easy. Anyway, so I pried it all out. So the caveman thing is, is that you got to slide it down here, then notch it. So it goes like that. And before you notch it, this spreads out. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, you got this big thing. That's how much gap you got, but it's under tight. Then I siliconed it before I slide in, which is clear, which is makes a mess or whatever. But anyway, then you forget that, well, you got a notch of fender too. But anyway, I don't like this, trust me. I don't like that at all. But I, I figure it out. Once you put your tire on, your fender goes here. Your tire goes here. The only way you would be able to see it is you would, which you still couldn't see it, this way because the tire's there. So the only way you'd be able to see that it ain't all copper is maybe on an angle, maybe. But the reason I, I didn't, I didn't plan on doing this, what it is, is this got a plastic coating on it. This is um, back when I was a kid in the 80s, uh, aluminum rims were real popular, starting to get popular. And people didn't want to clean them, so they started spraying, I don't know, clear coat, whatever the factor did, I don't know what it is. And then when you sand the, when you sand the clear coat off, these are, the, where are they at? These are the scratches that are machined in there. I didn't put those in there. But anyway, my point is, the reason, and I sanded that all out, the reason I did it is because this is what happens. Somehow moisture gets in there, and then when moisture gets in there, it just... It's like rust, but it's not. It just starts creeping, and before you know it, your forks or your rims are just got that black spider web, whatever you want to call it. So I knew it was. I knew it started happening there, and it started happening there. So I might as well just go on and take care of the situation right here and sand it all off. And I thought, well, if I'm going to sand it off, I might as well put copper on it. And then about the gap here, well, even when they machine it right here, they don't even machine, finish it right here. Because the figure you can't see it. Which I guess I don't blame them or whatever. But anyway, there was a tab here. Pretty big tab. And then there was a tab here. This was a stop uh, bracket for the brake. But there was a gap in there. So I could slide a new uh, plate in between there. My wife said, you going to cut that off? I said, yeah, you got to be willing to destroy something in order to make something one off so I did all that and then you take a, I don't know what this is you buy it at Menards 
Of course, it's got scratches from all over. It's got scratches all in it. It's just, I don't know, you flat stock, whatever you want to call it, which is like eight bucks for a piece of aluminum, which is not reasonable in my eyes. But anyway, you take that, then you wet sand that all down, and then you drill holes and you measure it all out, then you put spice because um, you think that's a great idea. And Am I in love with it? No, but there's already holes drilled in it, so here we are. Sometimes ideas ain't the greatest, sometimes they're okay. And got a half inch and a half over here. It really fits nothing, and I don't like those right there in the meantime. So the same process I did before. You put it in the wood, you pry it out, and they beat on it with a hammer, and this is what you get. Um, I haven't put it in the English wheel yet, but what I notice is copper Lowell sucks. Copper at Menards is more expensive, but it's better. This is what I mean. See the see the machine marks in it, the pits right there. Well, when I went to Menards, because Lowe's don't carry two inch stock, that's the biggest they have it in stock on hand. Um, this is all beat up in here because they're prying on it, but you don't see those. You don't see any of these, this, which I didn't sand out, which I should have. You see it right, see right there? It's like a machine mark where it's stressed. I don't know why, it's cheap brand copper. This didn't have none of it in there before I wet setting it down. But that's um, good for you, Tom. And then this is what you use to beat the cap off. Beat the cap on, beat this on without making marks on it. And you kind of tear up your hammer a little bit, and that's about all I did that I can think of. And hopefully I don't think of any more ideas because my mom's truck that I did about six years ago is, is breaking rust. I don't know why I didn't do it because I always usually do it. I must have just forgot, but right here I always, I always tape it off and scuff it and undercoat it. Or put bed liner so it don't rust. My mom's, I didn't do it. I don't know why, but I didn't do it. So she's breaking rust here, and she's cre creeped around the edge because they drive it in the winter. Well, yeah, this life, it's only a, it's 2004, 170,000 miles on it. So I bought some flares, but I still, uh, the flares are OEM style, okay? They fit kind of close if you use the heat gun to heat the the plastic up to cover it after you clean the rust up and rust deaden it and you prime it and then you you mold it on and you give these little they're not bolts they're little clip things that click 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 which are plastic which ain't gonna hold so i gotta use fender bolts and they kind of fit did i mention that so i gotta heat it up with the heat gun anyway i gotta do that um that and put in new injectors in my mom's truck. I'm starting to miss. I put one on there, but then now the other ones are starting to go out. So I'm as just do all of them at the same time. And my mom wants, says I have to do it before. She wants me to do it before winter time. Well, I'm going to do it like in a week because miss my mom. And it needs to get done. And even though this ain't done, because I think I'm probably... After it's said and done, I'm probably going to put snakeskin right there, and I got to do something with that because I don't like it. I don't like that. And I got to candy the headlight, and I got to put a head gasket on that, which I've done many of those because I don't know why I keep blowing head gaskets. Uh, I don't know why. It's always at the top. Um, I torque it. Uh, I ride it hard. I don't ride it whatever um I think that's all I got to say mm hmm oh my I won't be going to California because my youngest son that works at Intel is moving to Texas because they're tired of the taxes of California his wife worked at Intel too um she got a job in Texas I'm not sure where at um 
So they're moving in like three months. Um, yeah. So I'll be going to Texas when I get the Astro Band done that I haven't worked on. That I need to as soon as I get done <laughs> finishing this, putting the jug gasket on that, and painting the uh, Canon Spider Purple Metal Flake. And then I think I'll work on the Astro Band. Yeah, after I do the floor at the shoe shack like this. Remember this didn't work out that great because it popped. So they sent me all that material again. And yeah. You know what's sad is that it's like this truck. This fender, this bike, wet sand all this stuff out with all this grits of sandpaper and polish it out and yeah, and I'll never go back and polish it again. Guaranteed. I don't know why. I'll put all the effort into into doing it. But then once it's done, I won't touch it. Like this truck? Yeah, that's dirt. Let's clean it a little bit. There we go. My wife has hand washed this truck. I have never hand washed this truck, ever. Never. Not one time. And it's been... It's, it's still got a nice shine to it, don't it? After 10 years. I don't, my point is I don't go back and I don't hand wash stuff. I don't polish rims. Um, I do all the fabrication, cool, if you want to call it that. Getting it up to par and then maintaining it, I don't because I'm off working on something else. It's like this, this has been painted, oh my God, 12 years ago. I've never hand washed this, never, not one time. It's true. I might run the holes on it, but I don't put a cloth on it. Because I'm working on something else. That's why. Anyway. It's kind of a shame. But if you only had one toy, then you have all the time to maintain it. But I have more than one toy. Uh, these things are... These things are... Pricey. Anyway. Piece of property. Peace of oneself, peace on earth, rest in peace. Bigger piece of pie, piece of action, piece of pussy, piece of corn dog, piece of pizza. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even the puppies like me get a piece of, piece of something, motherfucker. And then you buy this brass rod that is really rough that you have wet sand and buff it all out. And then you don't know what you're going to do with it yeah, Because you have an idea that might come down the road. Oh, did I mention that uh, <laughs> beer is going to go up? Pfft, really? Whatever. You got whatever. You gotta enjoy life. Have a good one, people. Peace.